All right, guys, check this out. Look what the cat dragged in. We have ourselves a gorgeous set of washers and dryers, if you can see the other one way back there. So that's going to be taken apart next. Going to unload it and be right back. Folks, on this episode of When Life Gives You Lemons, Yep, you guessed it. We have ourselves a V-twin model. What is that? A panhead? Or an Evo? So what we have here appears to be a mismatch. We have a Kenmore, all right? Not a Jeff Moore, but a Kenmore. And the story on good old Ken here is that it ran when parked and never been raced. So it's apparently in mint condition and we are absolutely not concerned with that at all. I'm just going to plug it in and see what happens. All right guys, so it's no secret that um, I may have bitten off more than I can chew with that other uh, Maytag machine, our, our own washer that died. And um, it's all right, you know, I, I can admit that um, when I don't know something. So I'm going to try to step it down a bit and use this Kenmore, which I think uh, uh, came over on the Mayflower. And uh, it may be more my speed. It has no digital digitalization. It has knobs. So I'm looking at four knobs, four small knobs and one big knob. I think I may be able to work those. So let's drag it over here towards the plug and see what happens. So uh, 110, 120, whatever you want to call it measure your outlet if you want to argue with me what you, what it really is and uh, two prong with a ground perfectly bent all right so we have uh, I guess water level and it's a uh, small load a middle blue dot Another middle blue dot and a large load. Great. We don't care. And then these uh, water presets. This actually looks like it was a nice unit. My level of understanding. Not this uh, one button multifunction nonsense. So um, regular wash. Hot cold. Doesn't matter. Let's see if we'll uh, power on. I don't even know how to do it. I don't even know what this is on right now. There's no indicator. Um, now I think this one was reported broken. So I don't think the guy lied to me or anything like that. I think uh, this one was reported broken. Um, he was selling the dryer um, for 25 bucks and I and said that his washer broke this was like in the rental unit and so um, I said hey I'll pick this off this is free off of Craigslist because God only knows how many appliances we've given away for free on Craigslist so now I guess karma I'm getting taking them back so I said hey I'll save you a trip to the dump can I have the um, washer the broken washer for free he said sure and then while I was there, and then while I was there, I was just like, hey, you wanted 25 bucks for the dryer, so can I just give you 20? It's all I had in my wallet, honestly. Uh, money just disappears out of my wallet 
uh, I'm looking at you, my teenagers. Anyway, um, he said, sure, and we loaded both up. So we're not going to focus on the dryer right now. I want to stay on point, you know, within our scope of insanity. So we're going to work with this beautiful Canmore. I mean, it's not working now, so I don't know what I'm expected to do taken apart, but we'll see. Maybe it's just the flux capacitor. So, um, yeah, let's take it apart. So we unplug the battery. The goal is to have dubious amounts of fun and learn something and it's really not to fix anything. Let's see how far we can get before it gets dark this time. You're supposed to slide or some stuff like that to get off? I don't know. Pretty sure that's not how you take that off. That looks like it's supposed to go up or something. I have no idea how to take this apart. Ah, so we found a map, a treasure map. I don't understand what this is supposed to do. This, this one is supposed to be easier than the other one. But it's sure not acting that way. How the heck? Seriously. What the hell is holding this thing? Honestly, do not understand this. So we're going to unplug that, and that's just for the outlet. Okay, so this is just our cord right here. Deal with that later. That's tangled behind the wires, perfect. Here's another one. Okay, I'm trying to get you guys to see this, so. So we have, these went to some sort of a valve thingy. And then these run to more valve thingies. I'm trying to do this one handed now. And then I think that is the flux capacitor right here. This is usually, that's usually what dies on these, I think. So let's rip that guy out. You just gotta, you just gotta take your time with these and they'll come apart really easily. So here we have it. Oh, that's interesting. This thing looks like it wants to. Look at that. Not our first rodeo.
ladies and gentlemen, not our first rodeo. So, again, we want to take the head unit off. Wow, there's a lot of math on there. Where did I put my liberator? So again, uh, just nice and gentle. And gentle and it comes right off. There we go. This looks, what is this? This is some scientific stuff. It's just one of those plugs where you need three hands to maneuver it, no problem. Put that back. We have our head unit. This is, what is this? So of course, I think that is running through this plug. Yeah. is running a choke on the carburetor. Jeez, more crap? Oh, I think there's a ground or something too. Looks like a chassis ground. Pretty popular, pretty normal on these LS swaps. Some good progress, and now we've got our regular, whatever the hell this is. Does it come off? Don't test me. Found a penny, perfect. <coughs> How the hell do you take this guy off? There we go. Just you just have to use the right tool for the right job. Okay, so we've got our similar screwy thingy there. That's out. But we've kind of been always able to get those off. This is where it gets interesting here. Oh, so it's got to take the hood off, or as you guys call it, the bonnet across the pond. Okay, so toilet seats removed. Now we can see more stuff in there. Um, something there. More somethings there. This guy, the drum on this guy is tent. Good luck, my old trick. I guess this has to be pressed off. 
So I might get to that later. <laughs> this guy has a... This is crazy. This is totally different design. I've actually heard I've actually heard these things described as um, transmissions, so yeah. So check that out. That's crazy. Got pretty good suspension. Just taking off the hose is really nothing here to write home about. And so obviously this here is some sort of a water pump on the bottom. Um, I wonder if I can just take Take those off, and I'm wondering if this is the motor, and if that's just the transmission, as they call it. Let's see if we can take this off and not get hit in the face by anything. Where the hell is my? Did it eat it? Oh, sure, it ate it. They're actually coming out. Super surprised. Oh, wow. Look at that. Victory, victory. This one came with a mic stand. Pretty nice model. get you in here so you can see me fully struggle with this guy yeah you want to hold on to that lubricated shaft that's smart all right that's interesting so there we have it folks uh, 300 year old washer and I actually was able to remove the drum Yeah, so on a 300-year-old washer, I was able to remove the drum, but on a, uh, you know, one that's eight years old, I couldn't. Um, this appears to be a, I guess they call that a transmission. Let's see how... So this is I think this here is a compulator. One of those H20 models. Perfect. So that's removed. This is really nice to work on. It's like a box. So And then, of course, we got some wireage here. Ooh, we got, we got words. So this is a manufacturing date is 048A9. 
made in Estados Unidos. This is made in the USA. This might be a cool motor to put on a bicycle or a go-kart and, you know, knock your eight-year-old's teeth out. So, I kind of want to remove the transmission and then regret doing so. Because that's kind of neat drive shaft there. But I can't tell. Would they bolt it from inside? Why would they do that to me? It honestly looks like there's two studs. There's one coming from the other side, or bolts in this side, but they're screwed in from the other side. I don't know why they would do that. But then there's this housing. Anyway. That was pretty good place to stop for today. That was oh I see it. Look at that. So this is about this is smaller by than a three by five card. Um, so uh, you know we've got we can see the backs of the uh, knobs. Let's clean that up a bit. That's not very professional at all. Pardon me, folks. Looks like whoever uh, took this thing off didn't didn't uh, didn't take pride in their work. So always have to clean up after. People. So, you know me, we can't have a trace, we can't leave a trace that this was just a washer. Ah, perfect. Uh-huh. Yep. These nipples off. Oh, this is a big one. Will they come on? Probably not. You probably have to know some sort of a kung fu to, to get this guy off. Don't make me use the hammer, because I will. How is this on there? Like, like honestly, how is it? Oh. oh, this is glued on. It's right about the other piece. Sure. I'm pretty sure you at me, but when I took the chisel to that one. Alright. This on. I don't know how the hell. This one is a bit tricky because this is actually a push and pull out. Again. So close. Why wouldn't it be brute force? Come on, dude. Yeah, perfect. That was easy. Okay. This is this is aluminium. Much better. Now we can't tell what any of these what we want. This, not this particular model, the Moore or Canmore, I'm sitting on a screw. Because look at the size of the brain board here. Um, this is uh, much smaller and, uh, you know, size matters, right? So, let's, I want to... I am 
once again working on the floor. One day, someday I'll have a workbench. Someday, maybe, maybe with my uh, ceiling fans only website takes off. I want to figure out the minimum amount, like I said in the prior video, what it takes to make an AC motor run. And I've seen guys make their own motors out of, you know, uh, two magnets and like two coils that were just wound on a bolt. There's this really cool guy that just makes videos like that. I wish I had his smarts, but I don't. And, uh, and I think he just used some black mystery box and I couldn't figure out what the hell that was. It's probably something really dumb, like a capacitor. But it was uh, black and rectangular, so it didn't look like a cap, but what do I know? Come on. Perfect. So, wow. Our other motor had like three wires going to one place, and, uh, and then some other ones to another place. And then this one also gets, I wonder if it's wiring to the inside coils and the outside coils. Maybe that's all it is, and I just don't know that yet. That's how these motors are. Okay, almost done for today. I just got a couple more. So yeah, I'm just undoing all this, and I'll probably start eliminating the harness eye. Don't go to the motor. So this is like the lid closed. I think that's what this was. Uh, basically a switch, and we make it think that the lid's always closed. That probably is really wise for safety and all. Oh, come on, you. Just one more. And of course, this one is... Oh, this looks like it's... Uh, this wasn't just holding wires. This here is actually a join. So this is a ground join. Okay. That's the green wire. So it looks like this guy had multiple grounds. It looks like it had... It had three grounds. So, probably not important. Just do some clips. Can't have any clips on here. sets of wires. We got this. Let's see what this okay. So I'm gonna unplug this guy and follow it. Much more gentler as what I'm pulling and show you guys. But these, there's looks like there's three wires. And they go into um, two, so that's not puzzling at all for a noob, right? What the hell are they doing that? So here, I just kind of try to untangle them to show you. So see, these two wires just go right in. Forgot what that guy was. Hmm. Is but so this this that looks like there's a lot of more junk on here. Maybe this is the motor control. Um, So that went in here to the motor and then so then there's this whole other oh, so this capacitor goes along this strand 
Where does the capacitor end up? And the cap goes in here to that big knob. The big knob in the front, and that's where the capacitor goes. I'm thinking we may have better luck with this guy in terms of uh, figuring stuff out. Anyway, that's probably going to be it for tonight. Enough damage for uh, one night. I think it's productive. Total different design, though, man. Um, you know, look at that. I'm telling you, that thing's probably got some horsepower. Did I read it? <clears throat> so it, it has half a horsepower. That's rad. Let's see if you guys can see that. If the damn thing will focus, probably not. This camera stinks. <laughs>